children, can you tell me, how can we identify places of the Earth's surface? Why do you think the Earth appears blue from space? For identifying places on the Earth's surface, we need globes or maps. Both are representations of the real Earth at a manageable size. Let us learn more about globes and maps today. Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese explorer, sailed around the world and proved that the Earth is round. Before this discovery, people believed that the Earth was flat with steep edges. Astronomers believe that, the Earth is spherical and is slightly flattened at the top and the bottom. It resembles the shape of an orange. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system that supports life. Its surface is covered with large land masses called continents and vast water bodies called oceans. The study of the Earth is done with the help of globes and maps. Let's learn about globe. A globe is a spherical model of the Earth. Different colors are used to denote different places on the Earth. All the water bodies are blue in color and all the land masses are green yellow, or brown in color. Fact Earth is the world's largest globe. It was made by De Long, a company in the USA, that develops advanced methods of finding places on the Earth. A globe has its disadvantages. It neither shows us the details of a place nor is easy to carry. Locating a place on the globe is difficult. You can see this moving globe. Can you find a particular place easily? No, right? Therefore, we prefer using a map. Maps A map is the representation of the earth or a part of it on a flat surface. A person who draws maps is called a cartographer. Cartography is the study of maps. A collection of maps in the form of a book is called an atlas. We can draw maps to show countries, continents, and even our neighborhood. Maps are more appropriate for showing details. Let's have a look on types of maps. Maps are basically of two types, physical and political. A physical map shows the physical or relief features of a place such as mountains, plateaus, plains, and rivers. A political map shows countries, states, and their capitals. Reading a map It is important to learn how to read a map. A map can give us multiple information about a country or a place. All maps follow a system of direction and scale. Symbols and colors used in maps help us in reading the for example, brown or purple is used to depict mountains. Blue is used to depict rivers and oceans. And green is used to depict plains or grasslands. Directions The four major directions used in a map are North South East and West If one stands facing a map Towards the top of the map is the north, and towards the bottom is the south. The east lies towards the right and west towards left. Generally, all maps have the letter N written at the top, 
which denotes the north direction. It helps us in finding the rest of the directions. Four intermediate directions are used in a map. These are northeast, northwest, southeast, and southwest. Scale The scale of a map shows the relationship between the distance on a map and the distance on the earth. A scale is used because real distances cannot be shown on maps. For example, on a map of the world, one meter can be used to depict 100 kilometers. Remember, the distance on the map is always much shorter than the actual distance on the earth. Now let us look at the symbols used on the map. Symbols are used to represent the physical features of a place such as bridges, dams, roads, railway tracks, and canals. A key is used to explain the meaning of symbols used in a map. Have a look on some symbols used in a map. Some examples of symbols used are dotted boundaries to show borders, and dark dots to show cities. Colors Colors are used in maps to show different physical features such as mountains, hills, seas, and oceans. Water bodies are shown in different shades of blue. Mountains Hills and plateaus are shown in shades of purple and brown. Plains are shown in shades of green. That's all for today. I hope you understand the concept of globes and maps. Thank you for watching.